All right, folks, let's take the new debug experience for a spin. In Summer 25, we have a totally new debug experience for Salesforce flows. I'm going to debug my record triggered flow here, point it to a case record and run it. As you can see, it failed. And I can see a stop sign here um, where the error occurred. Now, this is the new experience for the debug log. I can see cards here. And there are summaries that can be expanded to show more detail. I can just click on this expand all. But before I do that, let me show you that I can actually increase the width of this panel. I can go all the way over here. Let me just go this far and expand all. I can also search through this list. If I type update, it's going to show me all the elements that have update in them. You can see that there are meaningful summaries here, like two variables were updated. That's also new, 14 matches. I can go up and down in here, right? I'm going to cancel out of this and show you that I can copy and paste the whole log into my own notepad. And if I wanted to go down to where the error occurred, I can clearly see uh, in red color that this update over here failed and the reason for it. String is too long for the field. And for updates and creates where we are using a collection record variable, we are going to get this JSON format that shows us all the field values for multiple records, which is also very useful. It's a much nicer format than before. And here I have settings where I can change the detail and I can add API names. I can show governor limit consumption and show transaction boundaries here. So with all this detail, debug is no longer guesswork here, folks. And uh, I know this show transaction boundaries functionality is going to be extremely useful when the screen flows are supported and I know the product team is actively working on making uh, screen flows work uh, until this release is launched. So great work.